Minhash, what is it and how does it work? Minhash, also known as Minwise Independent Permutations, locality sensitive hashing scheme, is a technique that can be used for efficiently estimating set similarity. It was invented by Andre Broder in 1997. Applications include detecting duplicate web pages used by the Alta Vista search engine, or for large scale clustering of documents based on word similarities. So for some background, locality sensitive hashing I first covered in a previous video. But the main idea is that unlike traditional hashing, where similar keys should yield completely different values, locality sensitive hashing aims to cluster them into similar values. As you can see on the right hand side, the Jacquard similarity coefficient can be used as an indicator for set similarity. So I included the formula down below of the Jacquard index formula, including an example on the right hand side if you're interested. So we consider the following problem. We have several billion documents and we want to identify near duplicates. How do we solve this efficiently? If we do the naive approach, we may go through each pairwise document in the collection, but that is too slow. We need an efficient way to cluster similar documents. Let's use locality sensitive hashing. The high level approach is first shinkling. We capture consecutive characters and words of k length. This permits reordering of words in a document. Then we perform min hashing. We generate a signature for shingles in a document efficiently. Then we do locality sensitive hashing, where we efficiently determine pairs of signatures that appear similar. So let's look at shinkling. So the first step is we convert each document into sets of characters or words at length k. For example, software ingenious with two shingles would be the following. Several properties exist when using shingles. Similar documents would share more shingles together. And reordering paragraphs would have no implications. More generally, we use k-values of 7 to 10. Min hashing. So now we now obtained a set of shingles for each document. However, both the number of shingles per document is high, and so is the number of documents. We cannot consider all pairwise documents to determine similarity because there are too many combinations. Instead, we use a technique known as minhashing. We convert each document to a sm smaller signature using hash function h. We consider two documents, d1 and d2. We first assume the signature is small enough to fit in memory. If the similarity of d1 and d2 is high, then we propose that the probability of the hash values of d1 and d2 is also high. Similarly, if the similarity is low, then the probability of the two hash values is low. The methodology of achieving this is to approximate the Jacquard similarity coefficient. To efficiently determine the Jacquard similarity of two documents, we construct a series of permutation. We consider an input matrix that contains a bit field indicating the presence of a particular shingle for each document. We then consider a permutation of columns and define the hash value to be the first index of the permuted order that contains the value of 1. To so the right hand side, we look at the permutation on the left, documents or columns, shingles are rows. We check the first value in the permutation, we see for the first document it doesn't exist, but for the second permuted order, it exists. So then our value for that document would be 2 for that permutation. But let's consider multiple such permutations. So we may have four permutations, as we see here. We have our documents from before, where the documents are the columns. And now we want to create this min hash signature matrix on the right hand side, where the different horizontal bands are the different permutations. And then vertically, we have the documents. So we may be populated as follows. Again, we look at the first permutation, we check to see what value it's one at, then we indicate that in the matrix. Then we go for the second permutation. We also indicate that in the matrix. Then we do this for the remaining permutations. Afterwards, we go to the next document and process its permutations. In the end, we're going to have the signature matrix computed. We obtain the following property of minhash. The similarity of the derived signatures is the fraction of the rows that are the same amongst the columns. So for example, between document 1 and 3, we have 1 over 2 similarity because half the items match between the two columns. Turns out, as you add more permutations, this is very similar to identifying the set similarity, even if you have a lot of rows. So this is a huge performance improvement in terms of being able to store the signature matrix. So the claim is actually that the hash value of C1 being equal to the hash value of C2 is precisely equal to the Jacquard similarity of C1 and C2. I included the proof if you're interested. So lastly, we have locality sensitive hashing. We obtain the signature matrix across different permutations. Now the goal is to identify across the matrix similar columns. The trick is to break down the matrix into bands and collapse a portion of each band, hash it, and identify others that fall in the same bucket. So here we have a bunch of buckets. We also have the min hash signature matrix. As the columns, we have the different documents. But as the rows, we no longer have permutations. What I did was I actually augmented R rows. So for each of those lines you see in this min hash signature matrix, we're going to be collapsing R rows in the original min hash signature matrix. And what this allows us to do is, as you can see in that curly brace, we can use any hashing algorithm and map it over to a hash bucket. If it happens that we have a conflict, then we can manually inspect and check to see if values are close enough. If they're close enough to our definition of close, then we're able to say that those two documents are identical. 
Thank you very much for watching.